the uh, the award was for, I believe, documentary. Let's see. They uh, won it for. Uh, let's see. The German language film, which earned a total of five Oscar nominations, focuses on the film of Auschwitz's longest serving commandant, Rudolf Hess. Hess ran the Auschwitz concentration camp between 1940 and 1943. An estimated, this is from the Washington Post, 1.1 million people were murdered there, one million of whom were Jews. Auschwitz is the first name of an institution that comes to people for pure evil. One of the Nazi death camps where you were sent in order to be murdered, you and your entire family, if you were a Jew. The guy himself is a Jew. Yeah, the the name of the uh, the name of the documentary or film is Zone of Interest. Jonathan Glazer accepted the award and so here is a, a man born a Jew. I have no idea uh, if he does anything that represents the fact that he is. In other words, very, I have to explain something about Jews which confuses non-Jews completely understandably. It even confuses many Jews. You are not born a Christian. You are born a Jew. Christian is something you affirm. It's a religion. It's not a people. Jews are like Americans, a people. You can be born American and devote your life to hurting America. Right? I mean, that, that's clear. So uh, you, what you believe has no effect on whether or not you're an American. Being born an American or, or becoming an American formally uh, is enough. Uh, likewise, Jews, you can be an you can't be an atheist Christian, because Christianity affirms God. And you can be an atheist Jew. You can be a Jew who does everything possible to hurt uh, Israel. The only place where uh, Jews have a majority. The only. Jewish country, first in 2,000 years, where a massive number of Holocaust survivors escaped to after the Holocaust, or fled to. Once the Holocaust was over, they weren't, well, in part of the time they were escaping, but it's another issue. So, when somebody like George Soros is identified as a Jew, man who has noted he he has zero Jewish identity it would be like saying that Stalin was a Christian even though he spent his life denouncing and killing Christians but he did go to a seminary in Georgia he was not Russian he was Georgian uh, which is also somewhat irrelevant because even if he didn't he it would be stupid to call him a Christian but he, uh, Stalin was as much a Christian as Soros is a Jew. By the way, Soros wouldn't deny that. So the Jews are stuck uh, with a fair number of people who only do Jews harm, like Soros, and now this guy Glazer. So I want you to hear his comments. Another man who couldn't, couldn't, uh, like Jimmy Kimmel, but worse, could not uh, resist the temptation to crap on Israel in a very, uh, a very uh, morally despicable way, uh, because he made a Jew about the he made a, he's a Jew and made a film about the Holocaust. Here he is receiving his award. Thank you to the Academy for this honor and to our partners A24 Film 4 Access and the Polish Film Institute to the Auschwitz Birkenau State Museum for their trust and guidance to my producers, actors, collaborators. All our choices were made to reflect and confront us in the present, not to say look what they did then, rather look what we do now. 
Our film shows where dehumanization leads at its worst. It shaped all of our past and present. Right now, we stand here as men who refute their Jewishness and the Holocaust being hijacked by an occupation which has led to conflict for so many innocent people. Whether the victims of October the... <laughs> Whether the victims of October the 7th in Israel or the ongoing attack on Gaza, all the victims of this dehumanization, how do we resist? By the way, there are very few people applauding. Uh, it sounded louder. It, it, it's, I would say, maybe a fifth of the audience applauded. Just for your knowledge. So let, let me let's let's unravel what he went up there saying saying as a Jew, and who's made a film about the Holocaust. Our, all our choices were made to reflect and confront us in the present, not to say, look what they did then, rather, look what we do now. Really? So Israel is now engaged in what the Nazis did in Auschwitz? Am I, am I putting words in his mouth? Our film shows where dehumanization leads at its worst. That's true. It's now this notion that both sides dehumanize Hamas and Israel. Do you know how many thousands of Palestinians up till October 7th were driven by volunteer Jewish groups to hospitals in Israel? Thousands of them dehumanized one side dehumanizes but the moral idiot glazer who made this film says both dehumanize for the full episode of the dennis prager show go to pragertopia.com sign up and become a full member